Hey everyone, thanks again for stopping by and for joining me on this lesson where we are going to gain some practice with solving multi-step percent problems. During a sale, a store offered a 30% discount on a pair of headphones that were originally priced at $150. After the sale, the discounted price of the headphones is increased by 30%. And we want to find out what is the price of the headphones after the increase. So we can see why this is a multi-step problem. We have a few things going on here. So let's start off by finding the sale price. Which means that we have to figure out the price of the original $150 headphones after the 30% off discount. We can think of this as trying to find 30% of 150, and we can do that by setting up a proportion, whereas an unknown value over 150 is equal to 30 over 100, and then we can cross multiply. In this case, we have 100 times our unknown value being equal to the second cross product, which was equal to 4,500. Then we can go ahead and divide both sides of the equal sign by 100. And doing this will allow us to find out what 30% of 150 is, which in this case is 45. So 30% off of 150 is a $45 discount. So the discounted price of those headphones can be found by subtracting 45 from 150. So we're taking the original price, subtracting the discount amount, and that's going to give us the sale price. So again, we have $150 was the original price, and we are subtracting $45, the discount, and the difference of $105 is the sale price of the original set of headphones. So now we're ready to move on to the second part of this problem. After the sale, the discounted price of the headphones is increased by 30%. So now we have to use that new sales price of $105 and figure out what is 30% of 105, and we'll take the same approach. By setting up a proportion across multiplying, we can find out what this percentage is. So now we have an unknown value times 100 being equal to the second cross product, which was 3,150, which we can then go ahead and divide both sides of the equal sign by 100. And again, solving this proportion helps us find what 30% of 105 is, which in this case is $31.50. Now that is the increase, so to find the final price of the headphones after the increase, we have to find the sum of these two values, which in this case is $136.50. Which is what we wanted to find in the first place, so we could conclude that after the increase, the price of the headphones is $136.50, and we've answered the question. 